Learning new details on a mobile home fire that killed six people Sunday night in Chattooga County, Georgia. Two of the four children who died were enrolled in school. Five-year-old Jada Kendrick was a kindergartner and a cousin who was staying the night. Five-year-old Claire Jones was in pre-K. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Cameron Taylor says both losses are significantly affecting the community. Cameron, tell us how the schools are handling this. Cindy, people are honoring this family in different ways. You see heart-shaped balloons right here. Another person dropped off a dozen pink roses. And now we're starting to find out how the classmates of two of the children killed in this mobile home fire are coping with their deaths. Keep the family in your mind because they're, they're definitely uh, having a difficult time right now. Pictures of rainbows and hearts are how Jada Kendrick's kindergarten class are coping with her loss. The five-year-old was one of four children who died in a mobile home fire on Sunday. She was a kindergartner at Leroy Massey Elementary. So many of our teachers develop relationships with these kids, and uh, it's like their own children. And so uh, she, uh, she, was, she was upset. Principal Brian Beasley says Jada's teacher was devastated when she learned the little girl would not be returning to her classroom. Parents were notified so they could talk with their kids about this sensitive subject. To help teachers and kids grieve, counselors from around the county were on hand. They're having a hard time processing probably too because they're so young at, at pre-K and kindergarten. I mean, they're four or five years of age, so. Uh, but not that they don't understand. I mean, they're, they're well aware something's going on. But it's, uh, it's, it's a delicate, delicate conversation. A conversation that is extended to the county's pre-K program. That's where Jada's cousin, Claire Jones, went to school. The fire also claimed her life along with that of her two sisters. It has been tough and it will continue to be tough. It's not something that we'll uh, get over today. Um, it'll take some time. Assistant Superintendent Jared Hosmer says teachers and administrators are supporting each other and staying strong so they can begin the healing process. It takes everybody to get through something like this. And the idea is to put together a booklet for Jada's family with those messages and pictures you saw. Live in Chattooga County, Cameron Taylor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Cameron, thank you. To help with funeral costs, family members set up a fund called the Jones Family Memorial Fund at United Community Bank and Regions Bank. Anyone is welcome to donate. You have to go into the bank to do so. They are also trying to organize a motorcycle ride in the honor of the family.